Uh, we look at this part called the nature of roots. This is what we call the discriminant. This becomes important when we deal with this topic, the nature of roots. If you want to master this section called the nature of roots, you must master this three diagram. It will make life easier for us. Now let us see how they set this section in the examination. So when you read, you look for these keywords, equal, unequal, non-real, or imaginary roots. Why can't they say value? Why do they include both value or values? Because when we say value, you'll definitely know that it's equal sign. But when we say values, it will be inequality sign. So we don't want to show you exactly where the solution is. That's why we include value or values. If the question only said value, we know that we're going to go straight here. If it says values only, we're going to go there. But we need to confuse you and say value or values so that you don't know which part it is, whether it's an equality sign or equal sign. But this is telling us exactly two equal roots two equal roots, so it's this diagram, there are two real and equal roots. So your discriminant must be equal to zero. And what is our discriminant in this case? It is 2p plus 5. How should it be? Our 2p plus 5 must be equal to zero. Discriminant must be equal to zero for two real and equal roots. Therefore, p, you divide by 2 on both sides, it will be minus 5 over 2. That's how easy this section is, the nature of roots. The next question, we do have roots here, there are two equal roots. These are two unequal roots. Ah, this is the one when you have no real roots. So 2p plus 5, which is our discriminant in this case, it must be negative. Therefore, p will be less than minus 5 over 2. Roots can only behave in three ways. In this way, we've got two real and unequal roots, uh, where you have two real and equal roots and no real roots. So what do we do when we are dealing with real only? Yes, we do have real. And how is the discriminant? It is greater than zero. Do we have real here? Yes. And how is the discriminant? It is equal to zero. So the sign that you will be using when, if, when it is only real, it will be greater or equal to. Because it can be there or here when it is only real. But once we are specific, we say real and equal, we know that it is greater than. Once we are specific, we say the roots are equal, it is only this one. B squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. I want us to look at the last problem. Given that f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus c, determine the value of c. We know that in this particular case, our a is equal to 1, our b is equal to minus 5, and our c is equal to c. We don't know the value of c. That's what we are looking for. What is our discriminant in this case? It is 41. This is the value of C. So this is how you go about solving this problem. No matter what they're twisting in these questions, they are just asking about the discriminant. And it can only behave, the roots can only behave in these three different ways. Thank you so much.